The police are the public and the public are the police is the principle being embraced by the Grosile Police Subdivision and by extension the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, RSLPF, as it embarks on its Policing My Community Forum. The division, in collaboration with the Office of the Prime Minister, on Wednesday held a community forum in Grosile, where the RSLPF and members of Cabinet sought to engage members of the public and inform them of upcoming developments. Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney, while assuring that the government was doing all in its power to provide the RSLPF with the required tools, indicated that the assistance of the public is paramount to fighting crime. But I can assure you that my government is doing everything that we can. And I'm not just saying that to say to you to comfort you, but we're seeing the results. And I can, I can tell you that I am so uh, enthused and so proud of the police officers in this country, who I think that go uh, too often unappreciated. And we're not understanding the weight that they're having to carry not appreciating the sacrifices that they're making. Doesn't mean that I'm not going to be tough on them. I am. But I want us as a society to work together because we cannot do it um, alone. But we are going to fix this problem. Cannot grow this economy without solving security. We believe as a government that every single solution, regardless of where you live, the standard of security that you have should be the same. Minister for Equity, Social Justice, Local Government and Empowerment and Parliamentary Representative for Grosley, Honorable Leonard Montout, explained that the government is discussing the construction of a new police station and court in Grosley. He asserted, however, that despite the many interventions being made to combat crime, the community too has its part to play. If we can do so, become our brother's keepers, I think we would do ourselves a bit of justice, we would, you know, do the neighbors a lot of justice, we would alleviate the pressure on the police and, of course, reduce criminal activity. Criminal activity goes a long way in terms of your well-being, the quality of life that you experience, and, of course, let us not forget, it has a direct impact on our economy, our economy in particular being a service-driven economy where tourism is our, the mainstay of our economy. And uh, while the Commissioner indicated that we are not putting measures in place specifically or solely for tourists. We first and foremost have to see about our security and safety, but at the same time, if we are to welcome people to our shores, we have to ensure that they feel safe when they are here. Grosley Police Subdivision Commander, Acting Assistant Superintendent of Police, Elvis Thomas, indicated that the division welcomes the recommendations made by the public and has since implemented some of them. These include increased operations, traffic checks, foot and mobile patrols, appointment of press relations officers for Rodney Bay and Grosley Police Stations, and the addition of more experienced police officers at the stations. Changes have been made to the front desk at the Grizzly Police Station in terms of improvements to our customer service. All staff members have been spoken to about the need for better customer service. Discussions are ongoing with the St. Lucia Hospitality and Tourism Association regarding customer training for all staff. Discussions are also ongoing with SLHTA for donation of bicycles to establish a bicycle patrol unit for the North, and I know Mr. Dizzy is smiling, efforts are being made for us to improve on our response time. We have had a number of successful operations and traffic checks, which led to the recovery of firearms, seizure of dangerous drugs and weapons, issuing of several traffic tickets, and arrests of known criminal elements. The Royal St. Lucia Police Force and the Government of St. Lucia is strategically working towards better crime prevention, detection and improved police service delivery. The strategy encompasses four main initiatives, including increased police presence, expanding CCTV surveillance, strengthening community policing and revitalizing the RSLPF. Acting Police Commissioner Milton Daisy said community policing is very effective in fighting crime. The community policing model it is not just going to the community, speaking to persons, that is part of it. But it is where the community and the police, you are committed to the fight against crime. And the community coming together to say, just as the police are saying, let us stamp out these um, crime issues. 
Now, what we have also realized is that where persons, come, the community is more engaged in policing of their community, you see less crime being committed. And that is what we want to see for Grozile. The series of meetings, which began on the 7th of December 2019, with four stakeholder groups, is seeking to improve the crime situation in the country with the assistance of the public. For the Government Information Service, I am Janelle Norville.